Instead, the pictures of black people in the film have consisted of people of color having roles that were downgrading to the representation of black people. For many years in the entertainment industry, black people have been shown as criminals, slaves, nannies, servants, black faces, or just plain illiterate. Due to the racial discrimination in 19 and early 20th centuries, Hollywood avoided using black African Americans in the 19th century. Blackface became a popular form of entertainment. Blackface let Hollywood use different characters without actually having to employ anyone with a darker skin tone. Actor Al Johnson made Blackface popular with characters like Amos and Andy in 1930. The craze of Blackface ended because of the problems about racism. The roles given to African American actors followed by old stereotypes. There was the Tom one who served white people, the coon who acted goofy like a clown. Then there was the tragic mulatto who was seen tried to pass for being white. The mammy who was seen helped to raise the young and help families. And the buck who was often a male who was hypersexualized, seen as a threat. Even though these roles were downgraded for black people, performers such as Sidney Porter and Hattie McDaniel would do whatever they could to pave the way for African Americans. And Hattie was the first black person to win an Oscar in her film, Going with the Wind, in 1939. In New Hollywood, many studio executives worried that films that focus on African-American themes was a risk for being too narrow in their appeal to justify the investment. Hollywood showed a huge interest in recent years to produce more films with the African-American actors and themes. Studio executives explained the lack of presence of African Americans in supporting or starring roles by stating only 4 out of 10 movies turned a profit. According to the Association of Motion Picture and Television Producers, but because pictures were all nearly black casts come along with more infrequently, they tend to stand out more when they fail. In 2014, the Academy Awards Returning point for African American films. With the film 12 Years a Slave taking home the Oscar for Best Picture, in 2013, five African American films were released 12 Years a Slave, Fruitville Station, Lee Daniels, The Butler, Best Man Holiday, and The Long Walk to Freedom. The release of films had a broader impact on the film industry, with the movie attendance by African Americans by growing by 13% compared to 2012. The evolution of black representation film definitely took a huge turn when Spike Lee and Tyler Perry, who cast all African American films, paved the way the for the African American community. Yeah, both man, directors black have different ways of portraying African American community, but the no popularity of both directors signified that some racial tension in Hollywood has ended. Yeah, yeah, Adding to the movement, Disney introduced the first black African American princess, Tiana, in 2009. In 2016, there was uproar about the Oscars, and the term started how racially skew are the Oscars. This was trending on social media. Economists had to look at the issue for the 21st century and found that as far as the actors were concerned, the number of black actors found winning were actually the size of America's overall black population. But that does not mean Hollywood has no problems or prejudice. As the data show, it clearly does. The article was to low African American membership numbers in the motion, picture, arts, and sciences. The article also highlights how, while black actors may have gained acknowledgement in the Oscars in the 2000s, other minorities are still underrepresented. However, the evolution of black representation in film has changed for the better. We are finally starting to see the change in stereotypes of how black people are good for playing roles than criminals, slaves, nannies, and etc. An example of how black representation has changed is Black Panther. Black Panther is one of the first black, all black Marvel movies. If that doesn't show change in the world, then I don't know what does. Black children now have something to look up to and can finally see a Marvel movie where the representation is similar to what they might look like. This offers change in the narrative and shows how change can come.